good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very very exciting video so today is going to be the long anticipated wardrobe switch over we're coming to the end of march now and i feel like it's officially time to get my spring summer wardrobe out i've been trickling some spring pieces into my wardrobe as i'm sure you guys have all seen i've been doing lots of hauls lots of new in pieces but one thing that i haven't done yet is a full wardrobe switch over and I think I partially haven't done it because even though the 1st of March to me is the beginning of spring, it still is quite chilly in the UK. We still have quite a few rainy days. It's not quite time to put our jumpers away or our coats. And so I wasn't quite ready to fully transition. But I feel like now that we are officially coming into April, that is the time for me when I can really start to enjoy my spring wardrobe. So I thought today is just the perfect day to start transitioning into my spring summer wardrobe now with this video i wanted to do it a little bit differently this year i know that i've done a few of these kind of videos in the past lots of like wardrobe switchovers lots of wardrobe clear outs and i've always done it in a very vloggy style but today i wanted to do it in a bit more of like an informative style a bit more of a sit down chatty talk through it kind of a vibe because i wanted it to be a little bit more informative and a little bit more useful for you guys i know that wardrobe clear outs can be quite daunting and actually, truth be told, part of the reason why I've waited this long is because I've just been putting it off. My wardrobe, I'm not going to lie, is an absolute state right now. Like, it is not in a good way. It is not organised at all. I don't have enough hangers for the amount of clothes I have. And it's just become very, very messy. So if I show you a little before and I can show you what we're working with and kind of basically just the horrendousness that has become of my wardrobe. I am a little bit ashamed, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But I wanted it to be just like a really useful video for you guys. I wanted to talk through like my best tips, my best tricks, the kind of process that I go through whenever I switch out my wardrobe because I feel like I've gotten a lot better and it's become a much more streamlined process over the years. And so hopefully that can help you guys if you are also transitioning your wardrobe for spring and summer. So step one is to take everything out of your wardrobe and this is always the most daunting step this is the step that i literally stand in front of my wardrobe for about 10 minutes and just look at it like i don't want to do this but trust me it is just the best way to help clear out your wardrobe get a rail you can use your bed but clear everything out of your wardrobe so that there is not a single thing left in it i'll usually also use this as an opportunity just to give it a little hoover and like a little clean inside because it's actually insane how much like dust and crap can build up at the bottom of your wardrobe so i just like to give it a little bit of a spring clean in there but taking everything out is the best method so that you can see absolutely everything that you own what i tend to do is i use the rail for things that i don't want being crushed that i think are probably going to go straight back in but then i'll also pile up a lot of things on the bed as well and this includes hanging and includes like shelf space i would say drawers aren't exactly very necessary to clear out because for me in my drawers it's just pajamas sportswear and underwear which is something that is not exactly seasonal so just everything that you can clear out of your wardrobe put on your bed and then you can really start to see the volume of clothes that you have when everything is sitting on your bed piled high and you just can't believe you own that much stuff <laughs> So these are the wardrobes now, completely empty, the only things that I've left in are like my drawers um, and then I've got two suitcases that I keep down there. Um, I've cleared out this one as well, this is Alex's so that's kind of like, that's how we split the wardrobe, it's like that way's mine and then that way's his so not too bothered about that um, but it's really nice to see it all empty and then of course <laughs> the mayhem behind me as I said. I do really take out everything and isn't that dreadful that this is just autumn winter um like I have coats over there I need to grab my coats out of my dressing room wardrobe as well um because they will all be going into storage and then all of this <laughs> so that is the fun that we have to do and then at the top that's all of my storage boxes with my spring summer stuff so yeah first things first put back in the things that we want to keep from this pile <laughs> 
Now my next step is to go through the piles of clothes and I usually have three different piles. I have to go straight back in the wardrobe because it's something that is a transitional piece and I can wear it in spring summer too. I have going into storage because I love it but it's way too autumn wintry and so I can save it for next year and I have to go whether that's to charity, to friends, on your depop, clothing items that maybe I really really liked this season but are not going to take me into next year, maybe I got a bit too much wear out of them and they're looking a little bit disheveled, clothing items that I don't want to have to keep in storage just to pick it up next year and go why on earth did I keep this for a whole year just to throw away. So be really, really brutal with yourself. I don't know about you guys, but I have quite limited storage in this place. I don't have like a massive loft that I can put boxes in. I don't have like a cellar or anything like that. The only space I have is at the top of my wardrobe and underneath my bed. Those are the only two places that I can put non-seasonal items. So I have to be really, really strict with myself. I have to really, really love my items and make sure that they are definitely going to be things that I get wear out of next year. I've been so much more strict with myself on only bringing in items into my wardrobe that I know are actually going to last me the test of time, that I know are going to do me well year on year on year. So have a clear through the clothes, see what you want to keep. I would recommend putting the things that you're going to keep in your wardrobe straight back in so that they are off the bed you can put them in and you can see how much room you have to play with when you start bringing out those spring summer pieces Okay, so this is what the wardrobe is now looking like with all of the pieces that have gone back in. Um, so as you can see, changed it up a little bit with regards to hanging the jeans. We have quite a big gap here, which is nice for all of the things that are about to come out of storage. Um, and then this side, I'm now making the dresser side because what I have done is I've put my two suitcases in together because let's be honest, we're not really using them right now. Um, so it means that things can drape without hitting onto the suitcase, which is always one of my biggest pet peeves so yeah we've got quite a bit of space here as well which is quite nice um so now is the time to get the boxes down step three i always try and make it as easy as possible when it comes to my wardrobe switchover by giving myself as much surface room as possible so the next step i would say is fold away all of the clothes that you're going to be keeping for autumn winter next year fold them into neat piles ready to be stored away so that you have a little bit of space when you start bringing out your spring summer pieces i always like to fold them up in categories i always keep jumpers together coats together winter boots together i always like to kind of like keep them as strategically as possible so that it makes it a lot easier for when I bring them out next year. So fold them up really, really nicely and put them aside, ready to go into storage. Now step four is to take out all of your spring summer pieces. Now this is why I said you want as much surface area as possible because again, I like to get everything out so that I can really see what I'm working with, what I have in storage. There will be some items that I will probably look at and think, actually that doesn't quite fit my personal style anymore. It's something that I'm maybe not as keen on this year. I don't think I'm gonna get the wear out of. So there are some items that I can go straight into the charity box, the for other people box, the to not stay in my wardrobe box. And I think it's really important before you start putting all the items back in your wardrobe to go through them and make sure they're all items you're really, really happy with. Now, I usually take this opportunity to steam the items that are going back into my wardrobe because there's nothing worse than wanting to wear something, realizing it's still creased up, and at six o'clock in the morning when you're trying to head out the door, you're quickly steaming or ironing something to try and make it look nice. It's nice to have it all in your wardrobe looking beautiful. So I like to get out of my steamer, I actually did a collaboration on Instagram for the steamer. It's the, it's the Tfal clothing garment steamer and I absolutely love it. This isn't part of the ad at all, but I think my discount code might still be active 
positive so if it is i will leave it on the screen here for you guys and i'll put it down in the description box and it gives you 30 pounds off the retail price which is absolutely amazing since unboxing the t-felt steamer on my stories i've had so many of you guys messaging me asking me about it asking for reviews and all i will say is it is so so handy i have been using it so so much way more than i ever used my iron just to kind of give clothes a little bit of a refresh to steam them up and also it's really nice because it has antibacterial properties so it means 99.9% .9 of bacteria viruses anything on your clothes will be cleaned off which is absolutely fabulous so you know everything going back into your wardrobe is fresh is clean and is looking really really smart and then step five I'd say is the most fun thing and that's to put all of your spring summer pieces that you're keeping back in your wardrobe and I usually take this opportunity to really organize my wardrobe and try and make it work as hard as possible it's something i've spoken about quite a lot this year and it's making your wardrobe work hard for you so keeping things in categories keeping things in maybe color order if that's something that you like to go by keeping all your t-shirts together or your jeans together maybe items that work well together it's just making your wardrobe work hard for you so that you don't have to do as much of the legwork in the long run I find this so, so aesthetically pleasing as well. I really, really like how it looks when it's all nice and neat and organized. One thing that I've actually decided to do this year is to hang up my jeans, which is something that I'd never done before. But one thing you'll notice about my wardrobes is I have a lot of hanging space. I'm currently in a rented property, so I don't really have much choice over my wardrobes and over kind of like how much hanging to storage ratio that I have and I've noticed that actually I have so so much hanging space I need to make the most of it before in the past I hung a lot of my knits and I do worry that some of them are starting to stretch and disfigure and that's the last thing I want so I've decided to start hanging up my jeans and actually it's so aesthetically pleasing that I'm really really happy I have decided to do that I think it just looks really really lovely my next task for my wardrobe for the aesthetics of my wardrobe is going to be to get matching hangers now i am actually not a velvet hanger kind of a gal i really don't like them i find them really big i don't know what it is maybe i can look into getting like kids ones but i think being a petite girl my clothes are obviously smaller than like the average humans and i find that those clothing hangers are really really wide that they often leave marks on my tops and i get like weird little pokey out sticky sticky out bits from the hangers my favourite hangers are actually the wooden ones, but they don't allow for as much space. Like, they take up a lot more space. They're a lot more expensive. So, if you guys have any suggestions of really good hangers that aren't the velvet ones, I would absolutely love to hear your opinion because it does upset me that my hangers don't match. They are all different and I just... I want it to be as aesthetically pleasing as humanly possible but I'm really really happy with how the wardrobes have turned out I feel like this has just been such a therapeutic and cathartic day like honestly it's taken me about three four hours to do but I would definitely say that it is worth it in the long run and it's just so so nice to see those pieces that I absolutely loved last year and bring them back out for this year Now there will of course be pieces that I haven't brought out that are still not quite seasonally appropriate such as my very very summery things. I mean obviously this year is going to be very very different in terms of holidays. I don't know if I'll be able to get my swimmer out at all this year but just things like little flip flops or like really really tiny linen shorts. Things like that aren't kind of the things that I'm ready to wear now. I don't think it's quite warm enough so I can easily just bring them out when the weather gets even hotter and I can add them into my wardrobe. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing the process of the wardrobe switchover. 
as I said, I wanted this video to be a little bit more helpful than some of my past wardrobe switchovers. I wanted to give you guys as much info as possible and try and make it a little bit easier for you. As I said, I know how daunting it is when you do these wardrobe switchovers and it's just looking at your wardrobe thinking, I have to take everything out from here where do i even start so i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're new around here i would absolutely love it if you subscribed you can come and join us for lots more fashion styling and lifestyle videos so i will see you guys in my next one bye